Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another empties video for you. I have this like drawer thing full of things that I have used up, which I'm going to show you and tell you if I liked it or not. First of all, I'm going to go into hair care. I'm pretty sure this was in well, one of my empties videos once and it is the Bedhead Color Goddess um, Miracle Treatment Mask for colored hair and I have used it all up pretty much. And I really like this, um, but it is quite thick and my hair is quite thin. So if I use too much, I hate it. If I use the right amount, I love it. It's like, it's it's a tricky product to use. Um, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it though, because I have a new love. Well, not a new love. I had this same love for my last empties video, but it's just, my love for it has grown. And that love is for my... Uh, De Lorenzo ET Equilibrium hair mask. This one is like a moisture treatment and a protein treatment in one. So you can keep using it unlike protein treatments, which you have to stop using after a while because your hair just goes like about it. Uh, this one is all used up as well. Devastated about it and I've not replaced it yet. And I didn't have time to go like into town where they sell it because it's like half an hour away from me. So I just went to the local Coles to buy a new like hair mask and I used it today don't love it as much but I'm gonna use that up first before I buy a new one of these I guess I'll stick with hair care I've got a L'Oreal hair expertise super sleek 100% sulfate free shampoo I love this shampoo well I mean not this one in particular but the L'Oreal sulfate free shampoos I really really like and they're the only shampoo that I use um, so I have repurchased this and I will probably continue to repurchase this forever. Um, <laughs> because you can't find that many sulfate free shampoos in like Coles or Priceline that are not crazy expensive that are good. And I like this one. This one is random and boring, but it's not that random and boring. Okay. So it's like makeup removal pads, like cotton pads, but it's the Coles ones. Holy crap moly these are the best. I have the Swispers ones at the moment, and I hate them. They've got nothing on these Coles ones, and they cost like three times the price. So never buying them again, and I definitely will repurchase the face wash. Whoa. This is the Inoxa Restore Hydrating Facial Cleansing Oil, and I'm in love with it. Absolutely in love. I bought this months and months and months ago when Priceline had a 40% off skincare sale and I was kind of like looking into getting a cleansing oil and I got this one because normally it's $17 so it was like 12 bucks or something which is a complete bargain and it's a maze. My skin has never been so like hydrated and just not pimply and I've already repurchased it and when I run out of that one, I will repurchase it again. This little mist toner by People for Planets got me into toners. <laughs> and this is the like rose one and I absolutely loved it. And I would have repurchased this if when I went to Priceline to repurchase it, it was on sale. But it wasn't and the Trilogy one was on sale so I bought that instead. Um, but I think they're both just as good as each other. I like the spray on this a little bit better. The spray on the Trilogy one, like I feel like it comes more out the bottom than out the top. I mean, it's not really that bad, but I don't know. The product of both of these is like on par with each other, but the spray of this one's better. But I think this is more expensive normally, so I don't know. I had this really cute little Dirty Works body wash. Um, and I will not repurchase this. <laughs> I got it at um, Glamour Affair in like our swag bag, which was crazy full of stuff. But I'm not really that into body wash. I mean, like I'm into washing my body, but I'm not into buying fancy body washes. So I won't repurchase this again. I will probably just buy like palm olive or something, which is like three bucks. Oh, I used up this little hair mask, which we got um, in the bag when I went to the Macquarie Centre Sephora opening and it was nice. I liked it. It's a Mika nourishing mask and a lot of people have told me how much they love it but I probably won't repurchase it because I love my De Lorenzo one but also you can only buy it at Sephora and it's just not close enough for me to like have stuff that I can only buy there so sorry. In that same bag I got this um, Dr. Jart 
reset your hydration mask and I actually really liked this I don't know how much it is but I'm assuming it's expensive because it's Dr. Jart um, so I won't repurchase it but I used this like when I was doing my show after a full like weekend of shows so four shows and wearing like copious amounts of makeup and my skin just felt like crap and I put this on and I may have accidentally fallen asleep in my chair <laughs> um, but when I took it off my skin felt amazing so if you're in the market for an expensive sheet mask then this one's good if you're not then just don't worry about it oh this I'm just chucking out it is the Faultine eyelash and eyebrow treatment I got this in a violet box one time and it just exploded everywhere and I don't know why I haven't thrown it out already so yuck another body wash um, this one's from the body shop and it's strawberry scented and I didn't love it it smelled like pink medicine but it was free so I used it all up but I would not repurchase it something that I would repurchase but I haven't is this rosehip oil it's by rosehip plus and since I've stopped using this maybe like a month ago when I ran out, I've noticed a difference in my skin. Like, I've got this little breakout happening here. For the months and months and months that I was using this, nothing was happening on my face, like nothing bad. I might get like one little pimple like in my nose here, but everything else was beautiful. And I need to repurchase this and I just haven't because you can only buy it online and I'm lazy. Oh, a little sachet. This is of the Clinique Custom Repair Eye Treatment and it was nice, but it, I don't know, it's probably expensive and it's, I don't really think it's worth it. Oh, another thing that I'm just chucking out is this popcorn lip scrub um, from Lush. I realised that it expired uh, in 2014. So, I don't know why I kept it for that long. Alright, last skincare item. This is the Bioderma. Um, my cellar water, but this is the one for sensitive dehydrated skin and I absolutely loved this. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And it took me ages to get through this little bottle, but I never use it for actually removing my makeup. I only use it um, in the morning after I've had a shower just to kind of like, I don't know, wipe, I guess cleanse. Like wipe crap off my face if there still is any and then I go in with my like rose toner and then I moisturize. Um, but... I did repurchase this, but I got like the normal Bioderma in like the huge pump bottle, which is also good. I don't really see a difference between the two. All right, makeup B stuff. Uh, let's start with mascara <laughs> because I got a lot. And these are probably not all used up, but some of them are old, some of them are just dried up and crap, and some of them I just didn't really like. This is the Maybelline, oh no, CoverGirl. Sorry, Maybelline. Um, Lash Blast Volume Waterproof. I did not like this. And I thought, because I didn't like this, I don't like waterproof mascara. But I was wrong. Because I found a waterproof mascara that I like. And it's the Lights Camera Splashes. I love it. This, I don't like it. And another thing about this. Like, I've got a small face and small eyes. And this brush, like, that's just too big for me. That's just, no. Nah. No. Nah. Another mascara is the Essence. All Eyes On Me Multi-Effect Mascara. And I've just had this for so long and I think I used it once. I think I used it once when I started my YouTube channel and it's terrible. So I'm chucking it out because I'm never going to use it again and you're only supposed to keep them for three months and so this has probably gone bad anyway. Next up we have the NYC Sky Rise Lengthening Mascara. I got this in a lip monthly I think and I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, but it's all dried out and gross now. Um, but what I like about it is this wand is teeny, teeny, tiny, like it's so thin. And this like really got into my lashes and it was good for my bottom lashes. And I really, really liked it. But can I buy it in Australia easily? No, of course I can't. <sighs> Second last mascara. This is the Grow Luscious um, Revlon Mascara. And I quite like this, um, but the brush, again, is massive. But I think like it's not... It's not that fat, it's just long, which I can deal with. And I did use this one up, it's all dried up and gross, but I used it quite a lot. But I will never repurchase any of those mascaras again, because I've got a new Holy Grail mascara, and it's the best thing I've ever used. And it's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Holy moly. Oh, I just love this. 
I've already repurchased. If you saw my Sephora haul from the McCrory Center, you'll know that I accidentally repurchased the lights, camera, splashes instead of lights, camera, lashes because, of course, it's normal to make two mascaras that look exactly the same and just change one letter. Mm. But it turns out I like that anyway, and I have repurchased like this one as well. But the wand is like nice and skinny and like small slash normal sized. And it just, like, it builds up nicely. The packaging's weird, but that's okay. And it's just amazing. And it's 27 bucks, which, I mean, that might sound expensive, but sometimes Revlon or L'Oreal and stuff is like $20 or $25, and this is 20 times better than those. So it's definitely worth it. And my old favorite, the Clinique mascara, is $40. So really, I'm saving money. I'm throwing out this old pair of House of Lashes Iconics. I absolutely loved these and I wore them to death. I wore them at least 25 times and the inner corner of one just like fell out because I used them and abused them. But I've got a backup already, so it's good. And my very last item is this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I can't believe that I finished it, but I did and it was awesome. And I think I already had a backup because I lost this one time and so I had to buy a new one But I freaking love these concealers. They're so good Especially for when you don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup and you just like put it all over your face and then You just go on with your day and it's great and I love it And that is everything that I've used up since my last empties video I will put this drawer back into my little chest of drawers and I'll fill it up and I'll do another video when it gets full. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.